One minute ago, artificial intelligence revealed something impossible beneath the streets of Naples, a hidden ring fault encircling half a million people. For three years, scientists believed they were tracking 12,000 earthquakes at Campi Flagre, Italy's sleeping supervolcano. They were wrong. The real number is 54,000, four times more seismic activity than anyone realized. And buried in that data, machines found what human eyes never could, a crisp, thin ring of fractures looping beneath homes, schools, and ancient ruins, a structure so clear that Italian researchers who have monitored this caldera for decades stood silent when they saw it. What else has been hiding in plain sight? If the ground beneath 500,000 people has been breaking four times faster than we knew, what happens when the ring completes its work? And when machines can see threats we cannot, how much time do we really have? This morning, at 11.07 a.m., December 11, 2025, a magnitude 2.0 earthquake jolted Pozzuoli. Residents described a deep underground roar felt across the town, a sound like the earth tearing from within. The tremor originated 2.93 kilometers below the surface, dangerously shallow for a caldera this restless. It was the 70th earthquake in just seven days. The strongest recent shock, magnitude 2.3, struck on December 7, but these are only the events people feel. Beneath the cafes and apartments, beneath the harbor where boats now sit stranded in grass, the crust is fracturing in colses too small for human senses, but perfectly clear to the machines that never stop listening. Every quake is a message, every rumble a warning. But this was only the first warning. In September 2025, a team from Stanford University and Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology published findings in the journal Science that rewrote the seismic map of Campi Flagre. Lead researcher Xing Tan, a geophysics PhD student, trained an artificial intelligence model to do what traditional seismology could not, recognize earthquakes hidden inside the noise of overlapping signals, the chaos of constant ground movement, the blur of a caldera in crisis. The AI analyzed three years of data from 2022 to 2025. Traditional methods had flagged 12,000 earthquakes. The machine learning model found 54,000. It was like adjusting a camera lens and watching a blurry image snap into focus, revealing details that were always there but invisible until now. The implications are immediate and terrifying. More earthquakes mean more stress on faults, more pathways for fluids to move, more chances for a catastrophic rupture. And the AI did not stop at counting. It mapped every event with precision, plotting thousands of tiny dots across the caldera floor. What emerged from that constellation was a structure Italian scientists had suspected but never seen with such clarity. A ring fault, thin and well-defined, looping around the zone of maximum uplift. What came next shocked even the scientists. Greg Barossa, a geophysics professor at Stanford and study co-author, put it simply, Our Italian colleagues were surprised to see the ring so clearly. They had expected scattered seismicity in the south, where previous data hinted at activity. But in the north, the ring appeared with a sharpness no one anticipated. It extends offshore into the Gulf of Pozzuoli, invisible to the naked eye but unmistakable in the data. It aligns perfectly with the area where the ground is rising fastest. The discovery is operational now. The Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology runs the AI tool independently, monitoring swarms in near real time. When seismicity changes, responders will know within minutes. The capability exists. The question is whether it will be enough and the signs were already spreading. Over 500,000 people lived directly above the Campi Flagre caldera, inside what emergency planners call the red zone. They wake to tremors, cook dinner while the ground hums, send children to schools built on top of buried craters. Most have no idea a ring fault encircles their homes. They see the hills, the bay, the Roman ruins. They do not see the fractures converging beneath Pozzuoli at depths less than 4 kilometers. The population density here is among the highest of any volcanic hazard zone on Earth. Naples sprawls to the east, its western neighborhoods overlapping the caldera's edge. Apartment blocks rise where hot springs once bubbled. Soccer fields cover ancient vents. Life continues as if the ground were ordinary, even as sensors pack every tremor and gas release. 
Bill Ellsworth, co-director of the Stanford Center for Induced and Triggered Seismicity, stated that an earthquake in the magnitude 5 range is not out of the question. These long faults, now mapped with AI precision, suggest the system is capable of producing shocks strong enough to collapse unreinforced buildings, sever power lines, and trigger landslides. Shallow depth amplifies the damage. At 2 to 4 kilometers down, seismic waves reach the surface with brutal efficiency. The invisible giant beneath Naples is not dormant. It is awake, and it is counting down. But the ground had one more secret. Since November 2005, the caldera floor has been rising, not in sudden bursts, but in a slow, relentless pulse called Bradycism, the literal translation of which is slow earthquake. The ground breathes, lifting and sinking over years and decades. At Rione Terra, the historic heart of Pozzuoli, GPS stations measure the change down to the millimeter. The numbers are staggering. Total uplift since 2005, 1.5 meters, nearly 5 feet. That is taller than most children. It exceeds the peak of the 1980s crisis by 58 centimeters, and it is accelerating. Between February and March 2025, the uplift rate hit 30 millimeters per month following a seismic swarm. Since April, it has stabilized near 15 millimeters per month, but the trend is clear. The ground is not slowing down. At the old port in Pozzuoli, boats that once floated in the harbor now sit nestled in long grass, marooned on new land that rose from the sea. Ancient Roman columns from the Temple of Serapis show holes drilled by marine mollusks halfway up their shafts, proof they once stood underwater. Now they rise above the waterline, monuments to the caldera's restless nature. In just the first 10 months of 2024, the ground rose 35 centimeters. By late 2025, the cumulative uplift reached heights not seen in recorded history. Each centimeter adds stress to faults, warps roads, jams doors, and cracks foundations. Engineers measure the strain. Residents feel it in their bones. What happens when the ring fault finally breaks? The AI revealed more than a ring. It found two faults converging directly beneath the town of Pozzuoli, west of Naples, at depths less than 2.5 miles. This is where the 1980s evacuations occurred, where 40,000 people fled as the land rose more than 6 feet and 16,000 earthquakes rattled homes to rubble. The faults are back, and they are not alone. The ring fault encircles the caldera like a fractured crown. Its alignment with the zone of maximum uplift is not coincidental. Pressure from below pushes the ground upward, and the crust responds by breaking along its weakest points. The ring is that weakness, a continuous zone where stress concentrates, where rocks grind and slip, where earthquakes are born. Bill Ellsworth's warning is clear. Magnitude 5 is not out of the question. That is strong enough to cause widespread structural damage in a region where many buildings are old, where retrofitting is incomplete, where emergency plans depend on roads that may crack and bridges that may collapse. The shallow depth means no buffer, no distance to absorb the energy. The shaking will be violent, sudden, and close. In rooms where walls still held paint just months ago, mineral deposits now coat every surface. Yellow and white crusts of sulfur, silica, and iron spread across floors like hardening lava. The air is thick with the sharp tang of acid and heat. This is not decay. This is invasion. One family, whose name has been changed to protect their privacy, lives on Via Antignana, a short walk from the Pichiarelli Fumaroles. At night, they open windows to let acidic vapor escape, then check the walls for fresh streaks. The youngest child sleeps with a fan aimed at his bed because the outer wall radiates heat like a stove. If you put your hand on the wall, it isn't warm, it's terribly hot, the mother says, her voice tight with exhaustion and fear. Each morning, they inspect for new damage. Some days, the mineral ooze creeps another inch up from the floorboards, leaving a yellow crust that flakes onto the tiles. On bad nights, they move mattresses to the hallway, as far possible from the exterior walls. Last winter, repairs cost over 6,000 euros. Heat-resistant paint, makeshift ventilation, repeated sealing of fissures that always reopen. Insurance companies refuse to cover volcanic damage. Selling is impossible. Property values have collapsed. 
The grandfather insists on staying. We watch from the balcony as steam curls up in the street, and every morning we check if the paint is blistering. The volcano is not just beneath their feet. It has invaded their home, their routines, their sense of safety. They are prisoners of a restless earth. And the volcano continued its work. Civil protection officials now face a crisis that outpaces their ability to respond. The network of seismic and gas sensors meant to track Campi Flagre's unrest has developed dangerous blind spots. In early 2024, several monitoring stations around the Solfatara crater went offline for weeks. Technicians blamed geothermal damage and budget shortfalls. A municipal worker summed it up. We can fix the machines, but not if the money runs out. Every extra week offline is a gamble. Meanwhile, the ground delivers unmistakable warnings. On October 12, 2024, a swarm of shallow earthquakes cracked open Via Napoli, the main artery through Pozzoli. Shops and schools shut down. Emergency crews cordoned off leaking gas zones. Workers patched the road. By morning, new steaming vents had burst through the asphalt. It was as if the earth decided our repairs were pointless, a shop owner said, still guarding his storefront days later. The pattern is relentless. Fixes vanish overnight. Vents reappear wherever they please. In 2025, researchers using AI mapped thousands of microquakes that had gone undetected by the standard network. These swarms cluster along the newly identified ring fault, a structure that could focus future earthquakes and amplify the risk. The limits of authority are clear. City budgets are drained. Repairs are temporary. Officials quietly admit, we can't stop it, just manage it. The volcano's acceleration is measured not just in data, but in broken streets and sleepless nights. Stanford researcher Tiziana Venorio and her team published findings in Science Advances in May 2025 that challenged decades of assumptions. The crisis, they argued, is not driven by rising magma, but by pressure buildup in a sealed geothermal reservoir located 2 to 4 kilometers beneath the surface. Groundwater entering the reservoir acts like steam in a pressure cooker. When the cap rock seals, fluids cannot escape. Pressure rises. The ground swells. Earthquakes follow. Lab experiments using a mocha pot as an analog showed that catastrophic failure can occur even without magma ascending. The model explains the sudden appearance of mineral crusts in buildings, the heat, the gas emissions. It also points to a possible intervention, pressure relief wells to withdraw fluids and lower the stress. But the idea is controversial. Drilling into a volatile geothermal system carries its own risks. No one knows if it would stabilize the caldera or trigger the very eruption it aims to prevent. Other scientists, including Giovanni Macedonio, director of the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology in Naples, emphasize that deep-seated magma remains the root cause. The debate is not settled. What both sides agree on is that the system is under extreme stress, that earthquakes are the immediate danger, and that predicting when or if a major rupture will occur remains beyond current science. Speculation and certainty collide in the shadow of the caldera. Scientists know the following with confidence. Hydrothermal pressure is driving the current crisis. The ring fault encircles the zone of maximum uplift. All 54,000 earthquakes detected by AI occurred above 4 kilometers depth, with no evidence of upward magma migration. Ground deformation and seismicity show an exponential relationship, meaning the more the ground rises, the faster earthquakes multiply. The shallow reservoir acts as a sealed pressure vessel, progressively weakening the crust with each cycle of inflation. What remains unknown is far more troubling. No one can say when or if a major earthquake will strike. The timeline for a potential eruption is unquantifiable. Whether pressure relief intervention is safe or catastrophic is unproven. The maximum magnitude the ring fault can produce is an educated guess, not a certainty. 
And despite 54,000 newly mapped earthquakes, scientists still cannot predict the next swarm with precision. The invisible threat tightens its grip. Soccer fields cover buried craters. Apartments rise where hot springs bubbled. And beneath it all, a ring fault waits, crisp and thin and unmistakable, ready to deliver the shock no model can predict. If artificial intelligence can now see faults we never knew existed, what else are we still missing? How many invisible structures remain hidden in the noise, waiting for the right algorithm to bring them into focus? And when the ring fault finally releases the stress it has been accumulating for years, will the machines watching in real time give us enough warning to save half a million lives? The ground won't stay still. The machines are watching and the invisible giant beneath Naples is counting down.